Uh, okay, so I and a lot of these again are on the Forex Algo Trader and today we are going to be advancing our previous uh, expert advisor based on the chat GPT exp um, yeah, the kind of stuff eh, that we did on the previous uh, instance. So we are building this uh, AI generated uh, expert advisor that will help us to, you know, analyze the market data and, uh, you know, they can give us some uh, trading ideas. And um, yeah, guess what? We are there now and uh, we did make some updates and we are some steps ahead, you know, um, yeah, in that uh, particular instance. So um the current uh, the current version that you do have can be able to analyze chart data and uh, give us trading signals like you can see over here this is the analysis this is the data we did send to it i mean you can track maybe the conversation from the start and then you can scroll all the way to the downside and then you can see um it tells us where the support and resistance levels are and uh, it does all the analysis in that uh, instance because on the human uh, stuff it is not like uh, you can just give it data and then it can determine where the current trend is going so like for example over here it was telling us uh, uh, which was it it did give us the stop loss level apparently and the take profit and the direction over here in summary just like we did request in that uh, instance to it he was in a downtrend it told us this is the chart that you are apparently analyzing so yeah so that's all uh, we can be able to scroll the we did have okay we have done a couple of updates which is uh, adding a scroll bar to this what is it called the display panel where we display the responses and uh, as you can see over here yeah it changes dynamically when you over inside and outside we also did uh, overcome the multi-line limitation in uh, metacodes language 5 on a uh, creation of prompts so in our case we can only input a maximum of uh, of uh, 63 characters so 163 characters then you can be able to add anything else so what we did is now you know uh, try to remove uh, uh, that limitation and do now we do have a prompt panel over here whereby you can have instead of limiting ourselves to 63 characters only as per the previous version we can now be able to input much so maybe i can have an example so you can maybe tell it because this is a continuation of the whatever that you are doing you can tell it okay uh, i get the point well never mind my typing mistakes okay i get the point the point now uh, we are appare, uh -huh, apparently in a down trend as per what then that's all we can't type anything else even if we yeah that's the limitation now that we did have so instead of typing just a simple message and that is all we we now have the prompt that is over here so we can just come over here down again and say um, we cannot continue our, our whatever that you are doing as per what was i even typing we are apparently in a downtrend as per okay what that i that i do see maybe you can ask it uh, is there any is there any uh, data apparently again we did uh, maybe i will talk about the stuff or the upgrades that we did do because they are a vast of them many of them i mean so the the gpt can be the ai that we did integrate can be able to recall our previous conversation from the start all the way to the current point that we are and now it can be able to see um what data that you are talking about i mean it can be able to track the whole conversation see how the chat gpt area is and uh, i think apparently almost all ai is implement that so 
it can be able to recall what we did chat with it or what we did instruct it previously so you can ask it is there any any uh, cardo stick japanese apparently eh. japanese i i mean that we can act on based on the data that i provided and then it is as you can see we are typing and then all the text is coming over here at some point you will need to scroll it when it is too big and then you can separate the you can see as we type over here then when we add the edit the data is appended directly as a one paragraph if you wanna graduate to another paragraph we figured out instead of using commands or you know like uh, we could have a new paragraph that seems seemed to a kike instead of giving such a command or having to type in a new line like that we used two double periods as our okay you can change it but it is what seemed uh, super fine to us so to graduate to a new paragraph you we just figured out we could just use two two periods in that uh, instance so we can say we can just input two periods and we can start a new paragraph apparently and we can tell it um, uh, i mean like i mean like um, dodgy 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 kind of stuff or a uh, engulfing kind of instance or something else then that's a now another new paragraph when you add the edit now you can see it is appended as a new paragraph in that uh, instance and uh, we don't see the double periods over there periods is the double commas is it comma full stop F double full stops comma comma full stop uh, yeah you mean you know you know what i mean i'm used to periods so period like that <laughs> so apparently you can list all of them like you can just come over here and say one a daughter uh, doji and then you can now have it in paragraphs like two like uh, engulfing then another new paragraph and you can say three and uh, we can you know apparently list anything over here doji engulfing any other japanese characteristic maybe Mm, three black uh, cross mm, the white soldiers maybe uh, white soldiers maybe and uh, yeah you know after we do that now because that is a uh, super long now you can see we do have a uh, scroll bar over here for the prompt section we do have one for the display section and the other one for prompt section so this does not limit us the number of uh, stuff so i mean the length of the prompt that we prompt the gpt to tell us so maybe we can you um, know no, you can continue maybe you can go to another paragraph in that case and then you can tell it um you know whatever i don't know <laughs> You can maybe uh, say uh, we now add a space when we input like that and then we can say uh, just any anything you know that that helps us to get what we want then that's all then you can maybe now send the prompt and now the prompt now will be a, a very it won't be a, just a simple prompt in that uh, instance that's what i mean mm, it takes some time you know to do the analysis like you are in doing the normal waiting now you can see oh, over here uh, analyzing mm, you can provide additional uh, based on the data provided loads. yeah so that is how we now append the the data maybe i mean you can see the whole conversation over there so to get now the chat data we do have these uh, stuff that is over here which we, which just like uh, gets the chat data appends it to 
our display and then we can maybe tell it maybe as an illustration um here is the new data for analysis then wow i don't know why i keep making uh typing error on the day <laughs> yeah then when we click on this uh, stuff over here now we can see we append all the data by default we just take up to 10 bars the previous 10 bars so we can see from bar number um one over there all the way to bar number 10 that uh, instance then you can now send the prompt again and it can you know do the analysis based on the current data we don't do these stuff on a uh, on each and every tick on or on each and every bar because that would you know increase the limit uh, the tokens for the prompts in that uh, case but uh, yeah you know guess what that's what we we achieved we managed to achieve and we are going far far much greater than this in the future of course so you can see the response is a bit detailed and now you can you know you don't have to search the gpt search does the search for you um anything else that we did do in an upgrade we okay we do have the history over here which you can you know go back and forth just like the normal gpt we store our charts so instead like you could be using this to analyze on a new chart maybe we are on a audio sd the lc maybe you could be analyzing it on a different chart like a gold and then uh, all of a sudden you want to just come back to the previous conversation and then you want to you know go ahead and have a look at what maybe make a clarification or maybe update it to the newest data and it can you know tell you it recalls you know the previous conversation so yeah to start a new chart apparently um you could you pretty much need to click on the button like that and then a new chart just pens in for you we then append we you can see over here this is now the third chart and by default it is selected like that if we begin to type maybe uh, alan just landed oh landed like uh, that we append the you can see over here it now changes by default it changes from the default to the new i mean you get that conversation uh, stuff that gets everything then yeah nothing much over here and uh, yeah so you can just like over over any conversation and continue a conversation or just go ahead and you know do some other good stuff we will be uh, in the future stuff we'll be letting the expert i mean the ea open buy and sell trades if it is allowed to and uh, yeah or maybe placing orders placing orders or positions apparently uh, that's what we are after too at the end but for now just you know bb steps so this is not the first time that we're doing this kind of instance on the previous part we did explain how to get how to do the heavy lifting so what we did is just like uh, you know fine tuning and doing a couple of updates here and there so like for example the previous update we did not have these uh, images that we do have and uh, yeah and um, i will maybe show you the code for everything because we don't intend to uh, code the whole stuff over here we will we will be doing um we will be doing a uh, what uh, just you know going via the code or skimming over the code and then i will provide the code in our telegram channel and um yeah you know if you have been with us you know where to find the code and uh, yeah so to for if you want to clear you just apparently press on a clear over there and then hello again and uh, the conversation just you know keeps on going and um yeah that uh, i think that is all in this uh, instance so let's let's get started so you want to just open the meta editor and then uh, we will 
explain quickly where the code. So the first thing that we do now, this part four of this series that we have been doing, we did uh, all new um, upgrade of the EV lifting on our previous part, and you can find uh, everything that we did do in our channel. Apparently, you can just come over here and maybe search in our channel. You can search. Uh, and search, uh, I don't know, chat GPT maybe. And you can see we did do a whole uh, integration of almost three, three and a half hours. So that is where, where we did the EV lifting. So if you want to do anything, you know, to keep in between the tracks, you, you need to watch that uh, lesson. Then, yeah, or you need to get the code. Or where we did kick off because now okay this code is two thousand lines of code and we have separated it into some several stuffs we have some other codes so like over here we did separate it we have some other files that are over yeah i mean it is super long code so we don't intend to you know mm, yeah <laughs> we just want to provide the code but let's do the scheming first